Hey, what's up, dudes? Kublai Khan here. Welcome back to Fallout 4 Survival Roleplay with our child of Adam Ghoul build. And what a beautiful day is it to be in caution, sneaking out by the skeleton of Boston, hanging out with our recently dead corpse, our very old dead corpse, and our so, so soon to be dead corpse. Except I missed. You know, someone brought up the coolness of the AI from a lot of, uh, oh, we have two perks now. Wow. Wow. Now we can actually go up to advanced if we really wanted to. Woo. Woo. This is good. Uh, someone had brought up the fact that the AI is pretty cool where even though this character didn't know I was over there, armor piercing submachine gun. Wow. That's actually a pretty cool gun. Even though they didn't know I was over here, they started firing in this general direction. In order because you know they they saw the shot came from this side so they're like well we better fire at that general place and hope that we hit the guy somehow or at least we see him or put him into cover it's a cool bit of ai that they have the game do what is this spot exactly huh whoa it's a the bureau this is called a bureau i didn't know that was called a bureau i guess i would a console a bureau and a console those just seem very oddly named Immediately think I think like video game console or like a spy bureau. Those were my initial thoughts when I read both those. Uh, I remember this place. Ah, uh, yes. It was like yesterday that we shot all of them in the face. And then we snuck around and had our own happy day. Goodbye, lovely raiders. I hope you enjoyed just being deads. Uh, you know, I think it's going to be interesting when we move on to whatever our next character is for this kind of thing. Which might actually just be Far Harbor focused, interestingly. Because Far Harbor probably is coming out just a couple days after this episode goes live. And we'll have a character then that's going to be played. Which, man, it was so cool seeing all the votes that everybody, all you guys were providing. I really appreciate you going to the build thing, talking about it, and providing me a couple ideas of what you were looking for. Because it's, it's fun to have your inclusion and ideas in this. Well, this is interesting. I wonder what this little spot was. Just just a garage in general? It's got some like red paint that kind of gives me that feeling of just a garage in general. I have to do that big old swing to find where the uh, indicator is. Okay. Oh, I recognize where I am. There's going to be a couple ghouls that pop out right underneath this. So let's pull out Ooh Baby and be ready for that. Come on. There you are. There you are. Got you. It's a roamer. Got you. 13 shots left. I'm overweight because of the rag stag. Uh oh. Oh, quick, take it. Take it and back off because that's going to explode. Ooh, so the public library has the intelligence bobblehead in it. I really want that bobblehead. I, however, am scared to go that way, so we're just going to keep moving this direction. <gasps> I do believe a legendary permanent spawn is always in here, somewhere. There it is! Yeah, go ahead and try to mutate on me, you rad roach. Radical rad roach. I just spit. I was so excited. Hunting rifle? Nocturnal hunting rifle? That's awesome! Alright, we're gonna have to shoot the glowing rad roach real quick. That's gonna be... So, a nocturnal hunting rifle isn't actually very good. I'm just excited to see guns. You know? Like, I wish it was a pistol again. Stop hurting me! How are you doing so little damage to me, but I just can't even shoot you? Damn! Nocturnal hunting rifle. So this is really cool because as the night grows longer and less damage during the day, like that's interesting. It's not really useful though. Oh, we're stuck. It's actually worth a lot of money. Normally these aren't worth very much. I mean, it could be just the particular rifle that it is, but for us, it's not very useful because it's a rifle. Also, I found that those late night, a bit like guns, aren't quite as good either because you're just like, great, you know, late night, but now you can only have its benefit at a certain time of day. So I think if I had known how much it actually provides at the end of day, like let's say if it was like a hundred times or a hundred times, a hundred percent better, then I think I would be way more likely to grab it for like late night assassination methods. Now, potentially, we could just up strength and be good, moved up to the next point. But I don't want to do that. I do know Action Boy is something that we really want. 
cannibal could be interesting as we continue to move our character to be able to eat other creatures besides just humans. But I think Action Boy is going to be a faux show. And then we might be moving into something like... Ooh, or we could get Demolition Expert right now. We won't get the Arc yet. It takes the next perk. It might also be nice just to get Locksmith and then also get up Demolition. All right, I've repeatedly said that I wanted to have Action Boy up. So we're going to do that. And then I'm going to hold on to this perk to maybe do Gun Nut 2 if we need it. Or even... Actually, we can't do Science. It's too far down. Gun Nut 2. Or potentially upping Perception or per potentially doing Pickpocket. I think I can make a statement about these revolver pistols now. Now, not a, I'm not 100% sure because we just got this one. But the statement I was going to make was that I thought this would allow us to have that cool 308 fire, fire, fire effect. But the thing is, is this is such a sweet gun. It might not be as better. As better. It might not be as good. It might be better. I don't know. But I think I will be willing to... I potentially drop some of these because they're not actually going to be that much better than what we're going to do here. And we just won't have the 45 rounds anymore. We'll just be going with this 308. Okay, I've dropped a little pile of things. We're going to just keep moving. We're so close to Diamond City. We're at the wall of Diamond City. So it's definitely okay with me to be doing that. This is not the wall of Diamond City because there is an inside. Oh my god, I really want to like grab stuff. It's really hard not to. I have a heavy sniper rifle in here. 10 millimeter pounds. Are we overweight? Yes, we are. I'm dropping the cigar box. We're okay. I think keeping that ammunition is a better option. Oh, oh, oh. Sight for sore eyes. Sight for sore eyes. However, we're about to fight a bunch of dogs. Hopping up here. Shoot the wild mongrel. Oh, good. I shot the car. Oh, ultra vicious wild mongrel. Ooh, we are cutting into these dudes pretty well. Keep some backup over here. I'm your backup. Oh. oh god, it's grabbing his arm. Right. Just run. I hear more dogs being angry. I think we're good. I think we are good. Oh goodness. We're gonna get into Diamond City. I'm gonna snatch us a sweet little save. And then I'm going to be able to do so much badass selling, upgrading our guns. Oh, oh man, we're going to be able to kick ass when we finally, finally get back to those jerks. Got a minute? Drinks on me. Yeah, Colette, I'm up for a drink. What do you need? Let me take I a seat. I still got a question for you. Go I'm in town it. looking for Henry Cook. Do you know where I might find him? Uh, he is dead. Ooh, oh no, I want to say haven't seen him or barely know him because I can't do it, but I think I might just say Cook's dead because that's the truth. He's dead. Is that so? What do you know about it? I killed him. I killed him. You son of a bitch! Why should I let you live? Alright, hold on, let me see if I can put on the clothing. Give me a second, give me a second. Alright, here we go. Killing me won't change anything, but it might get you killed too. You're right. Oh, we He's did it! Dead. Nothing's gonna bring him back. Get out of here before I change my mind. Wow. So that's. I don't know who that is, but she's not happy. I'm guessing you guys were saying in the comments that Cook's daughter would be coming after me. So, I'm assuming that's who this is. I ain't your friend, Scabba. Excuse me. Move on, pal. Oh, I see I didn't take your warning about not talking to you. Not very seriously. You we need to talk. Wow, there's a lot of people who keep chatting with me. What seems to be the problem? Oh, I'm turned around. The problem around. is that I've learned that you killed my son, Nelson. Is this true? Uh, who's Nelson? What makes you think I killed him? Morosky says so. One of his guys saw you do it. Murdered him in cold blood. I dare you to deny it to my face. Did you do it? I don't know who Nelson is. Did we kill Nelson? Hold on. I'm going to try saying I didn't kill Nelson. Even though I realize that probably I did because the game is putting that as the green option. We'll see if we can talk our way out of this one too. Oh, sorry Darcy. You're not who I want to talk to. I didn't kill Nelson. Whoever told you that was lying. Uh, 
Boo! Uh, you are an easy target for anyone trying to shift blame off themselves. I don't know if that if was it good. Wasn't you, then who was it? Do you know who killed Nelson? Morowski. I heard it was Morowski. Nelson was buying chems from him. I know he was. And now it makes sense why Morowski would try to put the blame <laughs> on you. Morowski that is. bastard needs to pay. And you can't be too happy about him pinning this on you, right? I'll pay you 400 caps to take care of him. Sure. <laughs> we both win. What do you say? Throw in another 200 caps and I'll take care of Morowski for you. 600 caps? Do I look like sure. 400 caps? Bummer. Take it or leave it. Bummer. Uh, sure. You've got a deal. Morowski is. Good at I hope so. But apparently we're Come gonna back kill him. And talk to me when he's actually dead. Oh, I'm getting worried about Paul. Nobody's seen him in days. Oh, excuse me. You haven't found out anything about Paul yet, have you? Uh, Paul's dead. Paul's dead. Oh my God. How do you? I killed him. <laughs> Do you know what it's happened? all coming back? I killed him. My God, you! Why? <laughs> why did you do it? Can you at least tell me that? It just happened. He attacked me. For what it's worth, I'm sorry. I wish it hadn't happened. That isn't worth a damn thing. Get away from me, murderer! Wow. Oh wow. And now we're crippled too from the weight. Oh God, I'm limping. How about you to sell something? In. So I have. You can cut it your damn self. Let's see what you have. <laughs> Just pulled this lot from the freezer. Well, so that was a really interesting little bit of stuff that just happened. We're killing somebody named Morowski, who I just don't even recall yeah. who that is. And then we're going to be. Just. I, I just keep going after everybody, I guess? I don't know. Why am I still limping? Perfection for sale. Hand I healed my leg. Okay. All right, we're almost there. And then I told her about me killing Paul. It's another thing that happened. Interesting. I, uh... <laughs> wow. What a what an interesting set of things that have just happened. Okay, first we're going to focus on our ooh baby. Because that one's the most typical. We know the most about this gun. And it's absolutely going to get its use. All right. We got the advanced receiver now from the last gun we just picked up. All right, that's all we needed to do for the... Ooh, baby, turning it into a 54 damage shooting gun. All right, now let's start working on this one. Interesting thing, on no muzzle, we have range 197. Compensator, we go to 179. I think that's an okay amount to do a switch because the recoil will be improved. And with a uh, longer barrel, immediately we go up to 305 range. So looking at our tactical 308 revolver pistol, as cool as it will be to fire that quickly, I think that this will make the most sense because that 103 damage plus the extra limb damage. I think that's gonna be the more powerful thing. True, we'll be able to fire, let's say, two of these very quickly, but this is great for that long distance critical hit, which is where you wanna get as much damage per shot as possible when we're doing it. All right, so the Righteous Authority is using a boosted capacitor. This is the one we're gonna do, the boosted gamma wave emitter. It actually doesn't increase any of the damage that our gun will be doing, but it will give burning, so it has this DPS after the fact. And then we also have better ammo capacity, and that's... Oh, and the range. Now, what we have been missing out on our Righteous Authority is a good form of sight. Let's do some reflex sights here. There we go. And this is why I wanted to be in a place like Diamond City. We had access to all our junk, and most importantly we're able to get any bits of j extra junk that we need because this is getting us now to be able to build the short barrel to be able to put on our new better short barrel on top of the righteous authority all right so i do believe we have altered everything to what will be very good for us do you feel lucky great gun i think we're gonna cut it out now it's not as badass as what we were looking for we have a much better long distance gun and we have enough ammunition to the 308s to make me feel comfortable we have taken all of these dudes wow so many laser pistols picked pieces off of them and been able to create this new righteous authority with a reflex sight a fine tomb it has fire it has improved short barrel cool update now for the most important parts do you feel lucky goodbye good sir you were wonderful 
And I don't need luck. Goodbye, madame. You were such a joy. Righteous authority, you are to be renamed. To a joke from South Park. Hello, violent, calibrated, powerful pipe bolt action pistol. Wow, that's a mouthful. Hello, welcome to the table. I like TikTok because when I pull out this gun, your time is ticking away. And of course, ooh baby, which has just been always ooh baby, kicked up the extra damage. Sick, super sick. All right, now that that has been done, our character is tired and thirsty and a lot of other things. And a lot of stuff has happened to her character on an emotional yeah, level. We've had somebody thought I killed somebody, which I'm sure I probably did kill them if it was a drug-related thing. Then we had the crazy husband who, well, he attacked Cook, and then I got confused, and that was craziness. Then we had Cook's daughter show up, which was another crazy thing that's going on. Our child of Adam Ghoul has really just done a lot. And a lot of crazy stuff has happened to him over the course of this experience. Every piece in here is worth what I charge. I'll take a look, sure. Odds and ends. I like how she says every piece in here is worth what she charges for it. But if you put on nicer looking stuff, she does give you better prices. Thus making the argument that what she charges for it isn't actually what it would be worth. This whole market smells like noodles and blood and shampoo and ammo. What an interesting thing to say. Noodles, blood, shampoo, and ammo. Oh, just breathe it in. Okay, so we have an extra 25 pounds thanks to the Radstag meat, and we're currently at 181 of 285. The reason why we're there is because we're carrying a ton of weaponry. Very, very large amount of weaponry. You can also see our ammunition is super high. We have two fusion cores. We are overweight. Luckily, we do also have a level up to do. Demolition could actually be pretty sick. Yep, I think that's the one. Keep upping our perception. Now we're going to be able to have a much more powerful explosive. Not this level, next level. All right, who's this Morosky guy? Ooh, this is kind of in the direction that we were going to go anyway. I think that makes perfect sense then. We're going to go off to kill Morosky. We're also going to do Diamond City Blues. Oh, it's all in the same spot. That's perfect. Now, was Morosky the Blank. ghoul who I said, hey, I'll let you go, and then she was like, oh, I won't tell anybody, and then she just immediately ratted me out? Was that was that that character? No, that was Trish. That was the name of the girl. So I wonder if it was Trish ratted me out, though. I don't know. I'll be very curious to see how that happens. I mean, it, That's right. working electricity, I gotcha. It's, it's kind of an interesting thing for our character and how we've gotten to where we've been, you know, with... Oh, I can't wait. Ooh, look at how small our gun selection is. There we go. Go ahead and put TikTok out there. Ooh, can't wait to use this. Got it out and ready. All right, my thoughte. Oh, I like that. Ooh, let's... Ooh, we already have a critical setup. Quick attempt at it. Boom. Feels good. I also get to know that they're on fire besides just being burnt away. Ooh, look at the scope. Ooh, that's a nice addition, too. Hello, dog. Wow, that thing is dead very quickly. I'm not even paying attention to that gunshot that went off by my head. Let's get a... Look at how little damage that's doing. Let's bring up a critical. Wow, we are powerful. You too, huh? Oh, wow, you're just going to die in a single shot, aren't you? Yes, you are. Wow, they've done, like, nothing to us. You just died in a single shot, too. Are you using a shotgun from that far? Oh, look, they're burning. Oh, look at their health going down just a little bit. Oh, that's cool. Oh, I missed. Hold on, is my ammunition a lot lower now? Nope, I have 39 rounds. Holy crap. I keep missing. Okay, you know what? We're just gonna use- Oh! <gasps> Legendary Raider! Do we have another critical yet? No, we don't. Let's get it off of this Raider scum real quick. Critical available. Now let's use our new toy, shall we? Our brand new toy. Not just updated new toy. Brand new toy. Critical to the head. I don't know how much damage that even was, but hey, that was pretty sick. 
Yeah, I really don't know what kind of critical bounces. Hunter's metal left arm. Damage from animals by 15%. That's kind of an interesting one. I, uh, I don't think it's going to be very useful, but it is a very interesting one. I don't need to drop a save yet, I don't think. It's kind of a dirty mattress out here and the like. Not really what I want to do. Oh, gummers. Gummers? Wow, that was the wrong word entirely. Ah, oh, how good does it feel to be powerful? We're like basically entirely equipped with legendary equipment. We have Mothortat. We got this insanely powerful sniping rifle or pistol. Let's try this out real quick. Um, Did I miss? They were just in two places at once for a moment. How inaccurate is this? Is this super inaccurate? Holy crap, how inaccurate is this? Is 89 inaccurate? No, but this accuracy is at 75. Yeah, I don't know. Did we just create a really inaccurate sniping weapon? <laughs> well, that one hit. That one hit. That one also hit. I don't know. We might have made a really inaccurate sniping weapon. I don't know. I, uh... Ooh, short bolt, couple. Oh yeah, this is a shooting range. Last time I was here, we were. Oh my God, is that a person? Ooh, they were using a settler. God, that's mean. Oh, respect that. Layton Towers. Is this another just apartment complex? I'm guessing. Well, so I have a 95% chance of hitting you there. Ooh, a shot, real butt shot there. I right, didn't kill you. Oh, hey oh. Oh, I missed. Ooh, baby, it will work just fine now. Punch, punch. I love those punches that are, like, final kills. All right, we're actually a little irradiated. I probably should have uh, gotten that fixed last time we were hanging out in the city. I didn't think that it was that big. I just didn't really pay attention, it seems. Bottle caps. Ooh, just dish rag. What a thing to have. All right, still hearing people around here. Oop. You know, I'm really looking forward to running into a legendary turret. Because this is going to be such a weird thing to pick up a leather legendary gear off of something like that. This is something really silly. Or it has like a, a hunter's gun or something. I think I'll, I can take a rad scorpion. No, let's do a ribeye steak. As you can see, it's not going to take our... It's doing most of our health. Oh, no. I, oh, no. I fell. Oh, God. I thought I fell off. Oh. <laughs> okay. Jeez. That was terrifying. <gasps> All right. Shooting at me. One of those weird things where you're playing a game and you're you walk into an area to have them start shooting at you so you can see where they are. Alright, let's keep moving our way to, uh, ooh, there's two ways up in this spot. Let's keep moving our way to the drug area. I'm looking forward to seeing that and shooting out Morowski. Morowski? I don't know. He seems to be another drug dude. I didn't realize that the rich dude who is, uh, related to... Wow, we were getting flickered a lot. I didn't realize that the rich dude in the upper stands of Diamond City was part of this drug running group. Uh-oh. Well, super mutants now. At least we get to keep trying out all our new weaponry. Frag mine. Wilson's corporate HQ. All right. That definite frag mine, I see you. Gotcha. You keep telling me to scream, but I don't know where you are. Are you sh you're shooting at me now? I heard a bullet. No? <gasps> there you are! Okay, hold on. We can do my Thorata. Hold on, now let's do TikTok. So we can keep testing how accurate this is. That missed. Alright, that did hit him. It hit him too. Yeah, this is pretty inaccurate. Uh, we gotta figure out a way to fix that. Pulling out Ooh Baby as we're walking through some of these spots. Hello? There's a church coming up. Ooh, there might be a legendary dude in here. In my experience, there's a legendary dude that spawns inside this bus. Nope, that's a raider. <laughs> that's just a raider. <clears throat> Whoa, doggy dog. Oh god, dogs are killers. I'll take some of your meat, you jerk. Ow, gunshots. Dude, I love how our de damage resistance just keeps popping up every time we're getting hit now. It's really helping. Really helping in the long run. Alright. Um, DB Technical School. 
All right, that person's far away. Let's keep trying the TikTok. All right, so this is pretty far away. We need to up the accuracy if this is not going to be able to hit from here, because this is what I wanted. That one hit. I that one hit. Maybe it's okay. All right, let's see if we can locate ourselves a bed in one of these little buses. All right, unfortunately, no bed in any of these initial spots. Gonna keep looking. You know, potentially it could be in this DB technical school. I'm not really sure. I think I've only been in this once in my experience of playing this game. So I'm kind of looking forward to checking it out. But either way, dudes, thank you so much for being here. It was a total joy to have you. Our guns are sick. Legit. Oh, I'm feeling good about it. They're very powerful. And damn, do they look cool. I mean, it's also really nice because as we're playing... We have the two fusion cores. We were only nine away, so we're only seven total fusion cores away, assuming somehow we don't lose these ones, which I don't think is possible. But it's just nice to have that change where now things are truly moving on. Now, we still have to get the radiation gun for us to complete everything. So once we get to that, we'll be good. Oh, wow. That's pretty sick. Dudes, thank you so much for watching. It was a total joy to have you here. If you liked what you saw, please leave a like. If you want to see more, hit the subscribe button underneath me. And of course, may the ground rise to meet your feet. The wind always be at your back and the sun shine warmly on your sexy, sexy face. Dudes, see you later. Bye.